I wish to reflect with you today on St. Clement Maria Hofbauer and his devotion to our Blessed Mother, the Virgin Mary. St. Clement Maria Hofbauer is often considered the second founder of the Congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer, the Redemptress, after the founder, St. Alphonsus. While on the one hand, it could be an exaggeration to call St. Clement the second founder, it is unmistakably true that it was due to the efforts of St. Clement that the Congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer spread beyond Italy, beyond the frontiers of Italy, beyond the Alps, into other parts of Europe and from Europe beyond to the world. And so it's worth reflecting on this great man, Clement Maria Hofbar, and his devotion to our Blessed Mother. Already as a young man, Clement had a natural devotion to our Blessed Mother, something he learned from his mother. As a young man, he often went on pilgrimages to Marian shrines. He went to Hungary to Maria Schossberg, the Marian shrine, at least once in a couple of years. He would often go to Maria Tafferl in Austria, not far from Vienna, a shrine dedicated to Our Lady of Sorrows. He went quite often to Altuting, the Marian shrine, famous Marian shrine in Bavaria in southern Germany. But every year, without fail, all through his life, from a young man right till the end of his life, Clement went to Maria Zell, the famous Marian shrine in Austria. So already there was this deep devotion on the part of Clement to make pilgrimages to Marian shrines, where he would seek the intercession of our Blessed Mother for himself personally, for the many trials that life afflicted him with, the loss of his father, the struggle to find employment, seeking to follow the path of the journey to be a priest, then the struggles as a redemptorist to found the congregation in Poland, in Austria, and in the most challenging moments of his life. These pilgrimages to Marian shrines strengthened Clement in his vocation and in his journey as a redemptorist. There is one notable moment in Clement's life. It was around 1783. Clement was a young man. He had constantly this desire to be a hermit. And so on one of his pilgrimages to Rome, he made quite a few as a young man, he went beyond Rome further down south to Tivoli, which is south of Rome, a beautiful town. And not far from Tivoli was a beautiful, quiet, serene hermitage dedicated to our Blessed Mother called Santa Maria in Quintiliolo. He sought admission to be a hermit from the local bishop, who eventually later would become Pope Pius the seventh. Once he found admission to be a hermit, Clement spent about six months in the hermitage, living the life of a hermit in prayer, with mortification, in silence. Spending hours gazing at the beautiful picture of Santa Maria di Quintiliolo. So much was his ardor that at the end of his time in Tivoli at the Marian Shrine of Quintiliolo, Clement made a life-changing decision. His name up to this time, his baptismal name was Johannes or John, and he chose now to change his name. And he chose two names, Clement and Maria, from the Hail Holy Queen, O Clement, O Loving, O Sweet Virgin Mary. And so he chose Clement and Maria. And from now on, he calls himself Clement Maria. Like Alphonsus, he insisted always, and he signed his name always, 
Clement Maria Hofbauer. Clement entered the congregation in 1785. A congregation whose founder had a deep, intense devotion to our Blessed Mother. In fact, Clement had already met Alphonsus, not personally, but through Alphonsus's writing on the glories of Mary, a book that Clement had received and had read in detail while he was a young seminarian in Vienna. This was a book that influenced Clement, apart from the other writings of St. Alphonsus. At a time in Vienna which was being plagued by two very dangerous movements. On the one hand, Jansenism, which sought to present God as angry, as terrifying, as fearful, which made people's lives a misery. Clement found Alphonsus's writings as the antidote to Jansenism, a God of love, a God of mercy, a God of forgiveness, a God who's so close to us, whose mother is always by our side seeking to draw us to her son. Secondly, the severe influence of rationalism that came in from France and was sweeping Austria at the time. A mentality that questioned faith, a mentality that ridiculed Catholic piety and Catholic devotions and spirituality. Clement found in Alphonsus's writings the message, the answer of how to live Catholic faith with ardor, with devotion, with joy. And the devotion to our Blessed Mother would be central to the life of Catholicism as a way to combat the harshness and the coldness of rationalism. Clement, inspired by St. Alphonsus, inspired by St. Gerard, carried the devotion to our Blessed Mother from Italy into Poland. And so he always had a sermon to our Blessed Mother during his preaching. And he would preach with great ardor on the virtues of Christian life found in our Blessed Mother. Never would there be a sermon preached without talking about our Blessed Mother. Clement had beautiful prayers which he composed himself and which he prayed to our Blessed Mother. To revive the faith of a people that had seemingly lost their faith, Clement had processions in Warsaw in Poland. Processions with the Blessed Sacrament and then processions with the statue or the images of our Blessed Mother. Where little children threw petals to the Blessed Sacrament and threw flowers to honor our Blessed Mother. The devotion to the Blessed Sacrament, the devotion to our Blessed Mother went hand in hand, means to revive the faith and spirituality of a people struggling in difficult times. Clement's favorite prayer was the rosary. He often said he could pray the rosary anytime, everywhere. He used the rosary as a means to further the apostolate, to further the mission. And so on his visits to the sick, he would pray the rosary on his way, walking to meet the sick and pray over and for the sick. As he was about to meet a difficult person, he would pray the rosary. On his way to meet somebody with a problem, he would pray the rosary. As he said, praying the rosary, he never ever failed to experience the protection of God and the intercession above all of our Blessed Mother. And so he would call upon his confreres to have this deep devotion to our Blessed Mother through the recitation of the Most Holy Rosary. Clement was definitely a great devotee of our Blessed Mother. And he once wrote in a letter that he preferred it whenever anybody wrote to him or spoke to him to always address him by the name Clement Mary Hofbauer. Clement teaches us through his life and spirituality that anyone who reveres the Mother of God, who is sincere in his or her devotion 
to the mother of God will always find the protection. Will enjoy her maternal care no matter what the situation of life which Clement himself experienced personally. Inspired by the devotion of Saint Clement Maria Hofbauer, I invite you now to pray together with me that beautiful prayer to our Blessed Mother seeking her intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.